If you're like me, you probably have reels of 8mm film, beta and or VHS tapes tucked away in boxes that are collecting dust on a basement shelf. I can not tell you the number of times I've thought to myself, I've got to get those family memories transferred and preserved. A recent event at UW-Milwaukee invited community members to do just that with fun, interactive and educational activities. In our Sunday morning spotlight, Frank Healy shares the effort to bring new life to old media. The moving image is really one of the most powerful forms of history. It captures a moment in time in real time. So you're, you're seeing and hearing things as they happened in, in the window of a camera. Whoa! Ouch. I'm okay. I'm okay. Sue Schwabe says she had no idea what she would see when she brought several reels of 8mm and Super 8 film to the University of Milwaukee. Um, what we were just seeing right now was from the 1970s and it was just, it was kind of fun to see. It was um, family, mostly the family of my brothers and myself and just, you know, doing the typical things in the 70s. It's a great way for people to share memories of their community and then also for people to just um, share their own histories and their family histories. This is the first ever home movie day at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, organized by archivists like Shiraz Bathina and Tammy Williams, director of the Film Studies Archive at the University. We got a first-hand look at the archive they maintain there, filled wall-to-wall -wall with tapes, films, still pictures, and audio recordings. Williams says their event, inspired by the South Side Movie Project at the University of Chicago, which documents the visual history of black families in the city, comes at an exciting time. The home movie as a moving image format actually is celebrating its 100th anniversary this year. Oh, wow. The anniversary of 9.5 millimeter films available for consumers to document their lives. And it's a wonderful opportunity to bring together people from different parts of the community and to share movies and to learn more about each other. I don't think I've ever seen two home movies that were exactly the same. As archivists kind of facing a real ticking clock to try and get as much video as we can digitized before there aren't any more machines available to do so. That's why there's a rush right now to preserve these films, VHS and Betamax tapes like the ones shown at home movie day before it's too late. If we lose it, you think about how much of our history has been recorded on videotape, that's going to be irretrievable. Nobody really knows how to make a lot of these parts anymore. When media is brought in for home movie day, they examine the film. Film is organic, so a lot of people don't understand that there's two parts of film. There's the plastic and then the recorded images on the emulsion. And tapes to assess their condition. Checking to see if there's any cracks in the tape. Does the tape seem to have any mold growing on the inside? Does, when you look at the actual top of the tape, um, is there any wrinkles in it? Does it look like it's folded over? If you say yes to any of these things, the first thing you want to do is not play it back. Athena says all media should be stored in a cool and dry place and checked on regularly. If you see signs of those issues, and with film, a vinaigrette smell or pinkish hue developing, it needs to be stored away from the other media so it can be handled by a professional. We had Bethina take a look at some VHS tapes from our CBS 58 family. So the one thing that we noticed is that like the tape has a cracked shell and um, when you have a tape that's cracked, a lot of times this can jam inside of the VCR, parts can break more because you have all sorts of robotics coming down and pressing against the tape. So it's a good idea to try and reshell a tape like this. Recordings of CBS 58 news broadcasts from 2005 to 2007. When we popped it in, a familiar face showed up. Also new this morning, two men are in custody following a late night police chase. The suspects were in an SUV that matched the description of a getaway car used in an armed robbery. At home movie day, they also stressed the importance of digitization to preserve it for the future. Williams says it's something many people haven't put much thought to, meaning moments like this Whoa. are at risk of being lost forever. And that those movies have as much value uh, in many cases as what is projected and preserved by Hollywood. <laughs> Home Movie Day is a wonderful opportunity for us at UWM in a relatively small program, the Film Studies program, for us to demonstrate our deep connections to the community. Director of the Film Studies program, Jocelyn sapaniak galise says Williams and her are now teaching film preservation and archival to students who also helped out at the Home Movie Day. We're kind of partially teaching them not only about the history of these technologies, but also um, their aesthetic values. And when we can introduce students to the, to the aesthetic values of obsolete technologies or so-called obsolete technologies, I think we can then introduce them into having a critical eye about history and visual culture in general. 
They hope to continue the event in the future, to continue to preserve these moments. And it's a history of how people represent themselves and understand uh, their families and their own identities fitting into a larger socio-cultural sphere. So I find this very, very valuable as a way to demonstrate how film history is a shared history. It's a history of all of us, and it's a history that all of us should have access to. They answered some of my questions, and I took some notes, and I'm definitely going to pursue that. It's going to be a big task, but I'm hoping I can, you know, do it. To preserve history like this, of First Communions, family holidays, kids playing in the backyard. Oh, circus parade. It's like, oh, I, I love, I love emanating, you know, information to, to Milwaukeeans, because I love Milwaukee. And it's like, this is our history.